Metal Game Over here bringing you another video. This time it's going to be about how to do homebrew and also Pokegen into Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, I've been waiting for this for a really, really long time because there were no free exploits and after um, browser hacks was shut down, but now there is called sound hacks and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, I just want to say that I'm sorry I haven't been making videos very frequently, but as I mentioned in a previous video, I do have that medical school entrance exam on January 28th, but after that, I'll be back in full swing. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to take your 3DS. Oh, by the way, this was brought to brought to my attention by one of my viewers, so shoutouts to him. I'm sorry, I don't remember what your name is. I don't have your name uh, on the top of my head right now, but it was like P or SPFD or something like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you have The Legend of Zelda, uh, The Wind Waker as your icon, but thank you so much. So anyways, you're going to take your 3DS and you're going to remove your SD card like so. You just click that, zing, comes out. And my laptop has an SD card reader, so I can just put it right in. And if your laptop doesn't or if your computer doesn't, then all you have to do is um, buy it. It's really cheap and you can just insert it with like a USB cable. So buy it on Amazon, wherever it is. I'm not endorsed by Amazon, but anyways... That's that. So as you can see, my SD card is right here, but there are a bunch of files in here, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step. So over here, this is just a website uh, with written instructions just in case you don't exactly want to follow my video, but I'm going to elaborate on all of these. So I'm going to leave all these links in the description, but the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this Ninja Hacks website. And over here, you can see this, you have to scroll down a little bit, and over here you see Homebrew Starter Kit. So you're going to want to click on that, and that's going to give you a zip file. I'm going to just open it up real quick. So you open up that zip file, and then yes, WinRAR, we get it, you're not free, it is expired, but you still work, so I don't understand that. Anyways, you're going to go to the starter, and you're going to take these two, and you're going to extract them to the root of your SD card. So as you can see, this is the very, very root of my SD card. Nothing else is open, you see it just says SDHC. So you're gonna wanna put it, copy it, and paste it over here. So as you can see, I already have the boot 3DS and the 3DS folder, so I'm not going to show that, but that's what you do. Next thing you wanna do is go to the Sound Hacks website right here. Then you pick the region and your console, so I have a USA old 3DS, and so you're gonna download the M4A. So you're going to take that M4A and you're going to put it in the exact same place. You're going to put it in the root of the SD card as you can see. This one is mine right here. Then you're going to go to this Homebrew Launcher website. Once again, I'm going to leave all the links in the description, so don't worry about it. You're going to scroll down here to Other App slash Drop Bin Payloads. And you're going to pick your version of 3DS, older, new, and then also the um, whatever it is. So mine is 11.2.0.35, U for USA, and you're going to download Other App. So then you're going to take this and you're going to copy and paste it into the root of your SD card. But very, very important, you have to rename it otherapp.bin right here exactly as it is. Otherapp.bin. No capitals, no spaces, nothing like that. So you're going to have to get those. Next up, you're going to have to get this JKSM, which is the save manager, which is how you're going to... If you don't want a Pokegen and you just want uh, the Soundhacks homebrew, don't worry about this step because this is only if you want to open it. So you're going to get the JKSM, which is Save Manager, and you're going to just download this zip right here. So you download the zip file, you open it up, and then yes, when we get it. So all you have to do, you don't have to worry about any of these files right here. If you did my previous steps, all you have to do is open up the 3DS folder and extract this JKSM folder into right here so you open up 3ds and then you extract the jksm right here so it's just right in the 3ds i've already done it so i'm not going to extract it again but you just have to extract it right here into that 3ds folder so last but not least all you have to do is go to this pk hex project pokemon and you just download pk hex and then that will give you an application you don't put in your 3ds or anything like that nothing in the sd card you just download that application and i've already downloaded it so don't worry about that. So the next thing you want to do, um, I just put the instructions back there. I mean, it really doesn't matter what I show you, but you're going to remove the SD card and you're going to put it back into your 3DS. So I'm putting it into my 3DS. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick because I am a little bit sick. So my voice is a little bit like nasally, but I hope you guys can look past that and just pay attention to the content of this video. So turning up my 3DS. Oh, wait. Why am I showing it to the camera? I I can easily just show you guys. You know what? Let's split the screen. 
so that you guys can see everything. So there you go. We have the instructions over here and then uh, this over here. By the way, those instructions on the left side do not show you how to poke gen, so you're going to have to watch my video to see that. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to click on the um, 3DS sound application. And then over here, you're going to see it says record and edit sounds, and then it'll take some time, but this will come up. So you scroll down to your SD card, you click open, and then you play this file, Ned Will 20, 2016, and then, oh, wait, what's happening? Uh, just kidding. This is the homebrew. I got you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a really bad actor. I tried to act like I didn't know what was happening, but I didn't know what was happening. So anyways, you go down here to homebrew, and so this is how you get homebrew. So if you just wanted homebrew and you don't want PK Hex or Pokegen, you stop right here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, all that good stuff. So anyways, if you do want the PK Hex, you have to go down here to JK's Save Manager. Now you click on it, and then you have to pick your target. So I have Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and also Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Sun and Moon Demo, all this good stuff. But of course, we just want Pokemon Sun. So what you're going to do is you're going to click A, you're going to select that target, it's going to do a bunch of stuff, look like it's hacking, and then you go right here to Save Data Options, and you're going to Export the Save. Oh, sorry, you go, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, what am I doing? Save data options, you're gonna export the save. So right here, you're gonna export the save, new, just click it, um, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna nickname it, uh, Pokemon Sun. So let's just do this real quick. Pokemon underscore Sun. Okay, so, and then you click A when you're finished. So Pokemon Sun, okay, got it. And then all you want to do is you're just going to want to back out, back it up, exit out, and it's going to take you back to the menu of the homebrew launcher. And now you can safely remove your SD card from your 3DS. You're going to want to back out before you do that because you don't want to risk damaging your SD card. Put it back into your computer. So like so. And now I have this right here. And if you go to the, um, the... S, JKSM, oh sorry, sorry, no, 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 go to the root, go to JKSM, and then saves, and now I have Pokemon Sun, and this Pokemon Sun, so this is me, you're just going to want to pay attention to where that's located, so now I'm going to go into my PK Hex, and I'm going to pick whatever Pokemon I want, so now I'm just going to pick a random Pokemon, let's just say, uh, let's give me a, a Litten, okay, yeah, why not, I started out with a Litten, and uh, Litten, okay, so, uh, its nickname is Litten, and let's just give it any nature, Hardy, that doesn't matter, Friendship, it's fine, you can change this, you can change its ability, let's give it Intimidate, just, just for the heck of it, and, uh, let's give it, in, let's make it Infected with the Pokerus, and Country, let's make it, uh, United States, none of this really matters, America, like, you, you can, you can change that, it's just whatever you personal want, uh, let's re-roll the ID, Okay, so basically all you want to do is you want to make it legal. So right now you see this, uh, this yield sign. I'm not, no, it's the opposite of the yield sign. But anyways, the warning sign, and you just want to make it legal. So let's say the origin game is Pokemon Sun, because I have Pokemon Sun. And it just met. And then any HVs, uh, sorry, <laughs> HP, IVs, and EVs, you can set them here. Then you can also change their attacks, just give it any moves. So let's do pound, uh... Uh, acrobatic or okay attract and uh, bite and see I love how they they tell you which moves are legal now this is the new uh, PK hex they didn't have this before so fire fang so all of them are outlined in green and it tells you everything that is fine so let's give it crunch and uh, that should be yes Oh, what? Okay, so they gave me suggested moves. Let's just go with that. So they gave me suggested moves, and then you can change this. You can change its um, original owner, so I'm going to make that my name. Or, I guess in the game, my name is Med. Yeah, you know what? My name is Med in the game, so that's going to be my owner. And that's that. So you can do whatever you want over here. And as you can see... Oh, oh, first, first, what you're going to want to do... Uh, it doesn't matter what order you do it. You're gonna want to open. So remember how I showed you where this is located, this main right here. So you're gonna want to open that up. So once again, just to reiterate, just in case you guys missed it, go to the root of your SD card, JKSV saves Pokemon Sun, and then whatever you named it, I named mine Pokemon underscore Sun, so it has the same name. And then you do main. And as you can see, these are all the Pokemon that I currently have in my game. I have not Pokegen any Pokemon in my game, so these are all natty. They're all natural Pokemon that I got in the game. 
and over here so i have this litten and let's just say let's make it shiny let's make it shiny so that we can distinguish between my uh pokemon in the game so right here you're just gonna right click you're gonna set it and so as you can see it's in box four right now so then what you want to do is you're going to want to file export save export main and you're going to export it right here into the same place you're going to overwrite the file yes replace it and then save data exported and then now you just want to remove your sd card as so put it back into your 3ds so let's do that put it back there insert it and then over here you are back to the home launcher you go back to jk save manager like we did before and then save data options oh wait uh oh oh it didn't it didn't boot up the sd card yet. okay okay got it got it Okay, so now you go back to JK Save Manager. There we go. This is what it's supposed to show. You go to Pokemon Sun, select the target. It's going to glitch out again, as it always does. It's so weird. Like, I know, it looks like it's hacking. But, uh, oh, wait. Sorry. One second. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So sorry about that. I had to go quickly do something. Um, so anyways, I'm back here, back to where I just was. So the same thing, JK Save Manager, and then over here, Pokemon Sun, you select the target, it's gonna go, it's gonna glitch out, like I said, and then you go back to Save Data Options, this time you're going to import the save, Pokemon Sun, really restore it? Yeah, man, I wanna really restore it, okay, then you're gonna back out, you're gonna exit, and it's going to take you back to the Homebrew Launcher, you're gonna click Start, and then it says, it says you're about to reboot your console into the home menu. You're going to proceed and it is going to reboot your 3DS. So that's going to do that. And uh, it's going to reboot. It's going to reboot. It's going to reboot. Um, it's going to take some time. And so how are you guys doing? How's life? Okay. So anyways, it's back. Uh, I'm really, I'm okay at small talk, but it's hard to do small talk when there's no one actually in front of you and it's just a laptop. It's just going to be so I'm gonna go to Pokemon Sun, which is actually a digital copy. So you can do this for a digital or a physical copy. Mine is a digital copy, but my uh, Alpha Sapphire is a physical copy, so it proves that you can do it for either. So you're gonna open that up. Uh, Pokemon Sun usually takes like some time in order to uh, to boot up, but let's see. It's gonna take some time. There we go. It's booting up. Got that Solgaleo, all nice. Over here, continue. My name is Med, as you guys can see in the game. And uh, I actually beat the game. Um, I didn't have enough time to stream everything because once again I was studying for this exam. But I did end up beating the game. So let's let's uh no no I don't want to go to Pokemon. Let's go to a Pokemon Center so I can just prove that the Litten is now in the game. So where is the nearest po there is the nearest Pokemon Center. I'm gonna go over there. Fly. Let's go Charizard. Fly. Fly away. Fly your wings. All that good stuff. And uh, you can see this is what over here on the left side what this PK Hex is, it, that should be what my box four is. So we should see that Litten in that exact same spot in box number four. So let's go over here, go to our uh, PC box, or our storage, and uh, let's go right here. Box number four, we got that shiny Litten with the Poke Rust, Scratch, and Ember with the ability Intimidate, which you can only get, of course, um, with the hidden ability, so it's not even a regular ability. But that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, I know, I promised this, that I would bring this to you guys. And so I'm really happy that I could deliver on my promise. And a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, the video, all that good stuff. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Really, really helps out. Follow me on Twitter at Medical Gamer. Once again, my videos will be back in full swing on January 28th. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As if I didn't already say that enough times, I'm going to get out of here. Peace.